All right, you guys, so today is Thursday. We are six days before surgery. I cannot fucking believe it. Um, right now, I just got back from a little like dinner date. So I'm in bed just chilling. I really need to go ahead and start unboxing this stuff for you guys so y'all can kind of see some of my supplies. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. But anyways, you guys, like I am like very much stressed about this surgery. I don't know, like as I get closer, I'm very much excited, but also like more and more nervous. And then it seems to like more and more, more and more bullshit is happening leading up to the surgery to where it's just like, why couldn't this stuff have happened like at any other time? Like why now? <sighs> so I really don't know. I'm just still trying my best to like stay hopeful. Nothing bad has happened regarding surgery itself, but just like a lot of outside things are going on to where it's like, I need my brain to like stay focused on the bigger picture, what's more important and just let all the other stuff slide until after surgery. Like I don't want like all this stuff on my mind going under anesthesia. Like I don't know. I'm excited overall for the trip. Can't wait to see my sister. Um, also to kind of just want to show y'all where we are today with progress. I'm gonna go show y'all like some little videos. Y'all like, oh my goodness, it is now Monday. We are like two freaking days away from my surgery. Um, today, I was off today for the first time. I went and got my pedicure. I went and got me a wax. Um, just because after surgery, I'm not going to be able to like sit down or lay down comfortably to do those things for a little while. So I just wanted to make sure that I did it like as very last minute as I could to last me for a little minute. Um, my mom's texting me. She's saying my little sister, like y'all, it's like too much to even get into right now. But basically my little sister is bringing my other little sister along with her on this trip. Like my mom's talking about some, she's not going to be cooking for me. Like all these things, like she's about to be going out to eat all this stuff. And I'm just like, do y'all not understand like I am getting major surgery like major surgery this is not a vacation this is this is not supposed to be some fun day da 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 like I'm about to be out on my luck like I'm about to be down bad like down real bad and it's just like it's it's starting to give me anxiety just like it's too much like I'm supposed to be the focus like the focus is supposed to be me not not everything else that y'all got going on like you know what I'm saying so I'm really trying like not to let stuff get to me, but also it's just like, I don't know. Then me aesthetics wanna call me today talking about some, oh, you're, we have you set up for your final post-op appointment to be on um, August 3rd on Tuesday. I said, what are you talking about? Like y'all told me from jump months ago that my final post-op appointment would be on Monday, August 2nd. I have already planned accordingly for that. Like my hotel room, everything is gonna be cut. Like. I'm supposed to be leaving freaking Atlanta on Monday at the very latest. Like I really was already gonna try to convince them to let me leave on that Friday. Like I already didn't wanna stay the full time regardless. And you mean to tell me you was trying to postpone my trip? Like y'all, y'all got me bent, okay? So I don't even know. Then everybody was talking about some, oh, I'm trying to see you, I'm trying to see you before you leave. Like, no, you can't see me. You wasn't trying to see me before. No, you cannot see me now. Like, and make it make sense. Like, I'm people weird like people are so weird like just weird oh so i'm on my way home right now i'm going to i haven't even packed anything it is now um 7 30 i think it is 7 30 p.m it's raining the weather sucks i still gotta go see somebody tonight like still gotta pack i don't know you guys like i'm i'm all over the place seeing like i can't believe that this is really about to happen like but you guys, I will vlog again tomorrow when I get in the car, when we start this road trip. My pre-op appointment is gonna be Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. So I'm hoping that that means, I have a surgery sister. She's also getting surgery by my surgeon on the same exact day as me. Her pre-op appointment is tomorrow afternoon. So I'm hoping that since my pre-op is in the morning, that that means I'm gonna be like one of the first cases for actual surgery day. So fingers crossed, because I really wanna be number one on his list that day for surgery. Everybody, we have arrived at Mia Aesthetics a little early. Oh my. Don't mind the kids. Who's the kid? All right, All right you guys, we just finished eating some Chick fil A. Um, yes, they're forcing me to drive while I'm trying to heal and prepare my I mind drove my the surgery. whole way up here. Um, but that's currently what's going on. We're driving back to Mia Aesthetics right now. It's 8 30, and my appointment's at 9 a.m. So, you guys will tune in in a second. 
Oh, I think I go straight. I found out y'all that my car with my freaking bank, my limit is $3,000 for me to be able to swipe my card. So I had to call them and change that. So y'all just video. make sure that if you do plan on paying for your video. surgery the day before, call your bank and see what your daily limit is so that it doesn't freaking get rejected. Even if the money's there, it's gonna still get rejected if it's over your limit. So I will tune back in with y'all shortly. All right, y'all, so we just got done with pre-op. Basically, they just had you sign a bunch of paperwork on like COVID saying you're okay, like you haven't been exposed to COVID and that if you do get COVID during surgery, that it's not their fault. <laughs> um, then they had you sign anesthesia forms. Like the only part that I didn't like is at the end of the form, it literally said like, oh, they have provided you a copy of these forms. I asked the lady, hey, can I get a copy of these forms? She said, no, we just give you a copy of the um, pre-op instructions. So my thing is, why do I have to sign something that you're clearly not doing? Also, it's like, oh, sign that the doctor has gone over all the risks, all of this, all of this. I haven't even seen the man. Like, it's just the fact that, like, why do you have me sign lies? Why did I go through with signing lies? But that's just because I knew they weren't going to, I wasn't going to get my surgery if I didn't sign the paperwork. But it's just a matter of, they really should have somebody take the time to actually talk to you before you sign documents like that. Since I'm in healthcare, I already was knowing what all the risk and stuff was. Like, I already know. I understand the terminology that was up there. But what if somebody actually didn't understand? Like, there will be a lot of questions. Um, after that, I went back in the room. They asked me if I was okay with them using my pictures and stuff on social media. So I told them that that was fine. Took pictures of me. Took my height, my weight. Took pictures. Then I had to go to finance and pay for all that money, y'all. Like... It got real after I signed that money away. <laughs> but I'm happy they gave me my prescriptions today. I know sometimes they don't give you the prescriptions till the day of surgery. So I'm happy about that. We're about to go to my friend's house. Then we're going to get some medications. We're going to pick up my prescription. We're going to go to Walmart to get some last minute supplies. We're going to get some food and then we're going to chew. They said they're going to be calling me around like 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. to let me know what time my actual surgery is. So y'all tune in. Now, y'all, one other thing that I will say is when I went upstairs, like, the, the girls were, like, unprofessional. Like, they were doing a lot of talking. Like, none of them wanted to be there talking about how they leaving at 12 o'clock. They don't care if they got help coming in or not. You don't want to work for the facilities? And, girl, why are you here? Like, that's what I want to know. Like, there's money to be made other places. Like, <sighs> Okay, you guys, we have arrived at our destination. We have. All right, you guys, so I'm kind of tired. Um, 
We're eating brownies right now. We're about to go to Walmart. We got everything unpacked. I'll show y'all later everything that I packed. She's forcing me to eat brownies, even though I feel like my face is already breaking out because of chocolate. I've been eating so much ice cream. I've been eating a lot of ice cream, a lot of chips, a lot of snacks, trying to like gain a little bit. Mm. I guess we'll just get in all that we can. My sister and her boyfriend, they're showering and like changing their clothes. And then mm. we're gonna leave in a minute. Okay. Okay, so we got the black robe. Got some food, got some fruit, Pedialyte, some water, lots of food. Inchers. Got some wine for my caregivers. And you forgot my inches. I didn't forget. Are you gonna go get them? No, first of all, they're probably gonna put me on camera. Can one of y'all go grab insurance? Where's that? It's so we got all of our stuff from Walmart. Dominique is getting on everybody's nerves. Um, I think it's both y'all, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh -uh. So we're gonna go eat at Carabas. For lunch. Tell my husband. <laughs> what kind of shoes? Stop! I can't see. Yeah, Why are you this close up to the wheel? Like, <laughs> I'm not. I'm just adjusting. I'm getting adjusted. This is ridiculous. Gap break. Yes. <laughs> I'm kidding. You really need help, yo. Why is she gonna have my name on her? This my shirt. I'm not just trying to have that name on your shit. Mom, go ahead and tell everybody how you don't want to cook meals for me after my surgery. Because I don't want to cook meals, period. How you doing? After the surgery, it's period. Oh. <clears throat> All right, you guys. So it is now like 2 35. Let me turn on the freaking air so you don't have to hear it blowing all super loud. Basically, we were eating lunch. I had a little mental breakdown, and then I just came to the car. Like, Y'all, I'm just like annoyed. Everything is annoying. And, and of course I like really wanted to be with everybody and I wanted like, of course I like really wanted to hang out with everybody and I want for it to be like a fun time, but like it's not fun. It's like miserable, I'm sad. It doesn't, I'm not happy. Like I'd just rather go home and like be by myself in the room and like go to sleep or something. Like I just want before my surgery to feel like at peace and not like annoyed, frustrated, irritated. Like, I don't wanna hear people like joking at me or like laughing and saying like little comments that I've already told you to stop saying. Like, it's it's like, no, I'm not dealing with that today. I'm not dealing with it at all this week. It's day one. Like, just chill out. That's all that I want. And everybody's like big tripping, getting on my freaking nerves. I don't care. I just really wanna leave. They're inside eating. I'm just like backed up. I just want to go to sleep. I'm like not in the mood. I feel bad because I know everybody wants to support me, but it's just right now I have a lot of stuff going through my head and it's just I'm not in the mood to deal with extra. Surgery is 8 a.m. in the morning. I'm really happy about that because I really did want a early appointment. So I think I'm like the first case. I think I just realized that like I'm genuinely scared. Up until this point, it had been more so just super excited, super overwhelmed with like happy emotions. But today it's more so hitting me like, you're really gonna get surgery. Like you're really gonna get put to sleep. Like, like this is it. Like there's no going back. Like I do love all of my family and like so happy that they're supporting me. I think like I was just emotionally exhausted and I just didn't have any more to like deal with anything. Like I was just on edge, but I'm feeling a little bit better now. Moving forward, I'm gonna try to like be nice, but it's like quit poking the bear. Okay. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna be ending the vlog right here just cause it's getting a little lengthy. But if y'all are curious to see how my body went from this pre-op to the next slide when I show my three-day post-op, just tune in for my next video. I'm gonna be showing y'all all the details from me getting picked up from surgery day all the way to me going back home a week later. This is something you guys do not wanna miss, so please tune in to my video that's coming up next.